From the mid-19th century onwards, Australian colonial and state governments had the authority to rightfully control and segregate Aboriginal people from the white population. In 1909, the Aborigines Protection Board had the power to remove children without parental consent on their own free will. The generations of children who were taken from their families became known as the Stolen Generations. Children as young as babies were stolen from their families to be placed in girls' and boys' homes, foster families or missions. With Aboriginal children expected to become labourers and servants, generally the education they provided was very poor. Aboriginal girls in particular were sent to special homes to be trained in domestic service. The lack of understanding and respect for Aboriginal people also meant that many people who supported the child removals believed that they were doing the right thing. Due to the removal of the young, Many Aboriginal half-caste children grew up without ever knowing knowledge or background information about their culture and family history. Although information is not exact, it is estimated that from 1883 to the early 1970s, 100,000 Indigenous children were forcibly removed from their homes. The project was part of the Australian attempt to forge a nation to bring Aborigines into the mainstream society. It was assumed that the Aboriginal way of life would die out in a matter of years. In the 1990s, the Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission started a national inquiry into the practice of removing children. The Bringing Them Home report outlined the devastating impact the child removal policies had on children and their families. It found that many of the institutions and homes in which the children were placed were very cruel. Sexual and physical abuse of the children was common. In 1997, Prime Minister John Howard refused to make an official apology. He argued that the current generation should not be responsible for the mistakes of the past. But the funny thing was that John Howard had still been a member of Parliament in the 1960s, when forced removal was still a government policy. And it wasn't until 2007 when the new Labour government was elected and promised to finally make an official apology to the Stolen Generations. On 13th February 2008, the new Prime Minister Kevin Rudd issued an official apology to the Stolen Generations on behalf of the government. This blemished chapter in our national history. The time has now come for the nation to turn a new page. A new page in Australia's history by righting the wrongs of the past and so moving forward with confidence to the future. We apologise for the laws and policies of successive parliaments and governments that have inflicted profound grief, suffering and loss on these...